Both, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. I've actually never uh, watched the beginning. I had a lot of, um, of runs. Uh, I've had, I had more than this, actually. I reached my computer sometimes, and I was like, yeah. Um, we'll play on normal mode. Uh, I'm doing a challenge where if I die three times in this game, I'll just end the run, and I'll restart. So yeah, the game is pretty easy. It's just like... Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. 
<laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Henry, get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, <laughs> just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Fuck, it's loading so much, bro. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? The fuck? Just nothing? Mm, nothing much. <laughs> Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um... Well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. You think he's teaching me sword fighting, don't you? What use would that be to me? Here, I'm not lying to you, ma. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but you know your father takes a dim view of such things. Do you need me to do anything, ma? Ah, you're a good lad, but I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay. Um, obviously things are taking a fucking while to load. I'm just, uh... What is the VC gonna do? Actually, I'm gonna real quick um, put this game on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, all those are issues with this game. And, um, nails for shoes. And, uh, like, running as well. That's not what I meant.
Ethan's hot. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate the Ethan sounds in this game. I forgot about that. Alright. Maybe leave the first fucking room. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Okay. Um, so, I've played two runs to the very end of the game, but I haven't actually like, finished, finished the game. I've, um, I've I'll be with like you. I'm with you, Henry. So I had, uh, How are you? Like crime or something. Father sent me. The guys me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. And did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. So yeah, it's kind of weird how the guard speaks to him, because he's not, he's not like, I don't know, it, it's very like ingrained in the game later that he's, uh, well, convinced that he's like a peasant or whatever, so it's weird how the guards talk to him here, like, knowing how to play the rest of the game. I will see you, I hope it will go even better. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. 
I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Oh, look, repetition you have. I didn't know that. Oh, Groon's retired. Okay. Um. Okay. So I kind of... I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Oh, yeah. fuck, it's a Oh shit. So I've got some strong slow hand jab. Oops. Okay. Yeah, Give up. I'll wring your neck. Stand the sound of fucking eating. So, 100 nourishment is the max. So, that's as high as I can go. Uh, the game, the game is really unfair until you can, um, like, you unlock, like, how to, how to parry and block and shit, and until then, uh, it's just fucked. Like, you can't do anything. Where's the, the mother? What's... M? Yeah, M 
just not looking. She's close then. That's not good. Oh, here she is. Ma? Ah, Ma! I, I'm hurt. You won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. What the fuck? I've never had this There you are, before. good as new. What? Wait, what? You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. What? What? That, that, you didn't ask why I'm fucking dying? You're like... It's like, oh, if, you, if I don't come to me, and then all of a sudden... Whatever, that, that, that was fucking... That was stupid. That dialogue set was so fucking dumb. Uh, so... Stats... Yeah, main level. Acidic is, is not good, I don't think. Yeah, it's Q. Yeah, I, I don't like Acidic. Um, yeah, see, it, the ones that, like, flip, like, have positives and negatives are always bad, I think. I think you're only better, like, better off using the ones like this. It's purely positive. So we'll take that. God be with you. Come get them. God save you. I'll take a bit more than usual. Kettles for water, baskets for goods, and torches for the night. I have it all. How are you? Oh yeah, so I'm. I should probably clean up or see you later. I trade. You come rooms for your house. Come on up and see. What else do you need? Just 20. That's good enough. I could buy an axe actually. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. I hate their fucking head movements too. I know how to haggle. Um, that should be good. Thanks for your class. Here. I have and uh, something what? for your trouble. <gasps> well now. Thank you very much. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, I know how to haggle. I, I lied. And I you haggle. <laughs> if you go down, I do. Oh, I fucked up. Uh, I don't want to go into the tiger yet. The ale just like get them. Gorgeous. What my voice though? God be with. You. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? Right, so obviously, um... Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. I'll take this. Finally, a reasonable sum. Hey, 
repair. Do you want to learn something? Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? No, it was nothing. Except Mother okay, noticed Henry. and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope I'll be with you, is Henry. opposed to your king. I'm with you, Matthew. So What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas's commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. We should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlor manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Oh, well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. I've never actually said no. I've, I've always fucking thrown shit at that person's house. Mostly because I need uh, <clears throat> these three. They help me beat the fuck out of Kunesh and they give me lockpicks. Plus I get to fuck ah! some fucking Germans. <laughs> So are we doing this or not? Wait. 
We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes, too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund! Woohoo! Eat shit, Dodgers! You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, hands. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Oh, sons! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! <laughs> Don't wait for the meat! Ah! Jesus ah! Christ! Ah!
What the? Sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. <laughs> wasn't enough we used to you get the I'm telling you lay one finger on me one beating wasn't we used to you get I'm telling you God save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And. A card for my beauty? What else might your worship desire? I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. Okay, shut the fuck up. Vanian. <laughs> I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin rubbing on his... He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use... Enough. How? Is that so? Your fate. Really? <laughs> you bet I will. I always fucking, I always look mad at it. Like, every time I play this game,
game so far, I'm, I'm having like two or three fucking games. So, can we get... We can. Good. And since today is the last... Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Fine. All right. All right. Now you're getting it. Nice. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Nice. Very good. Fine. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of first. Remember though, train hard. Hopefully the um the beer's not cold or not uh, warm yet. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Detox. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master and Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Oh, I Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why Sorry, do you ask? Girl, Just wondering, will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Right, back off there, Teresa. Interesting. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You 
haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. One that you never learned. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, <laughs> and so I many, must like, leave. Yeah, this game is a really good Here. game, but it's Full of loose ends and just like learn from your father that make no sense. he truly is a master of his craft i'm sure our paths will cross again they certainly will it certainly will that's true once it's ready send your son up to me with it good work martin sure it's been an honor says man have a safe journey to sasa the honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? <laughs> Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. And so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? to the house and grab anything else important from the truck. Go to the castle. Hurry. And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Isaac. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me.
closing! Move in, people! Come on! Come out on! Of time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the Get gates! Get running, people! Come on! My mess with me. Are you mad? You can't go back! Get through the gates! First um, run through. I, there's some enemies down here. Not here. Oh yeah, th this house here. Uh, and oh shit. I I tried fighting them instead of uh, you're supposed to like distract them and run, run away. But I, I fought them instead and I died. Uh, I respawn there and you get killed like fucking 50 times before you can get away. Yeah, you, you have to like jump in the mountain like the, 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 the rocks hey, and shit. Don't touch me or I'll kill you. There's you know, a horse right that here, I'll take it. Go to hell, you Tatar beast! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Go, you fucking idiots! Holy shit. Hamburg is to the left along the stream.
all the jump swords are apart, I can just like fucking Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? 
Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalitz is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Okay, what am I, oh yeah, I need, okay, I need food and just... Look out! Kitchen's here. Bernard's. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must have been terrible there. What the fuck? Ah, milady. You are fortunate, our good lady Wait, Stephanie. Lost? How fucking retarded is that? What?
up by the uh, French shake in the kitchen. Yeah. Two hours of sleep. Let's go. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. Oh gosh, you could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. How uh, to collect debt. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzin. I'd been secretly learning sword fighting and hiding it from my parents. So when we assembled the sword, I tried a few moves with it. There's a big difference between... The fuck does that mean? Maybe if I hadn't taken that sword in my hand, I wouldn't be here today. You're full of surprises. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Yeah, I saw like... Deutsch trying to defend himself. The man who'd mocked King Wenceslas as a drunkard and praised Sigismund now stood facing his soldiers with nothing but a pitchfork, trying to protect his wife and son. It was hopeless. He slaughtered them all. That's so sad. <laughs> I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take That's cover, so but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I wasn't safe yet. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he let such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. 
That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through, I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir uh, Robert. Who, who, who we who didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven I'm years, fine. my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir so Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Thanks, bro. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. What fucking arm was that outside? What? The fuck? Went great sleep or some shit. So, um, the second I have, oh yeah, the nightmare. Move in, people! Come on, come on, we're running out of time! Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets.
Okay. I'm gonna start the new video in like one second here.